I use an iPhone application called Car Care. It's by Carfax, and they contacted me and wanted to do a user interview uh, of someone that regularly uses the Car Care app. So the video following is a recording of that interview. Um, this is not a paid endorsement of the Car Care app. Hi, are you uh, Lucia? I am. Is that pronounced correctly? It is, yes. Great job. Okay. I go by Lucy most of the time, but my email is Lucia. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to say Lucy. You know, yeah. probably yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people use that. But uh, yeah. So is it uh, just us two today? It is. Um, my colleague Megan will not be joining. She has a conflict. Um, but where are you located? I'm sorry, what? Where are you located at? Oh, I'm uh, outside of Roanoke, Virginia at Smith Mountain Lake. Oh, okay. That's pretty close to the, well, I don't know if it's that close, but the Carfax headquarters are in Virginia, too. Yeah, over near Richmond, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, are you in Chantilly or Centerville? I'm okay. not. I'm actually a remote worker, so I'm in Florida. Okay. All right. Well, good spot to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and sunny today. Good, good. <laughs> All right, well, I can give you a little bit of context of what we're going to do today. Um, we really love doing consumer interviews because not only does it give us great content for our internal marketing, like we said in our email, but we also pass along all of this feedback to our product teams just to make sure, you know, our products are as good as they can be for our consumers. So we really appreciate you taking some time out of your day today to talk to us. Um, I know it's the holiday season, end of year, really busy, so like I said, can't thank you enough for giving me a few minutes of your day. Great. Um, in terms of the progression of the interview, basically I'll just have you, you know, kind of tell your story, share why you like the Car Care app, what you like about it, and after that I'll probably have a couple follow-up questions for you. Um, but a lot of the times, you know, your story and your detailed responses will answer a lot of those questions right off the bat. So it should be pretty painless, pretty quick, no more than 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, so we can hop right in if you're ready. Yeah, I, I, I hope I can keep it to 10 minutes. Recording in progress. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it, even if it's shorter, it's, it's totally fine. No, but. I just have a problem with uh, going on and on and on. So you'll have to, oh. you'll have to probably reel me in. <laughs> oh, no worries at all. We love that, too. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you wouldn't mind starting with um, stating your name and the city you're located in, and then you can go on and, and tell me what you like about the Car Care app. Okay, I'm Fred Miller, and I'm located in Huddleston, Virginia, which is sort of the central southwest portion of Virginia. And I know today we're talking about the Car Care app. Um, I think I got a Carfax report, or, you know, I've, I've ordered a couple of them on the last uh, couple of used cars that I purchased. And uh, I love the Carfax reports. Uh, they've been very helpful in giving me reassurance. Uh, before I actually make that purchase. Um, but somewhere along the line, I got a, a link sent to me or somehow I came across the Car Care app, but I think it was associated with originally purchasing that Carfax report. And uh, it might have been a little while before I actually went in and started playing around with it, but I probably uh, got it open, added one car, um, did you know, I'm a DIY kind of person. I do all my, my own work. And uh, I, I must have started with just one of the vehicles. And I can't really tell you how long ago this was. It was probably four years ago or something like that. And right off the bat, first, it was super simple, easy to use. I mean, I, you know, I think I put my VIN number in and it populated the vehicle information. I had didn't have to put very much information in. And... The first thing I liked off the, right off the bat was being able to look at history of the service history. Even when I didn't own the car, I could go back. And as I'm doing my updates and I'm, I'm working on the cars, I may have a question about, I wonder if this was done or not. And I can scroll through and look back and see if maybe a part had been replaced that I, I thought wasn't. And it, um, so I would say that the number one thing that I really liked about the app is being able to go back and look at history 
of the car that I was working on. Even a car that I've owned since um, when I, I purchased it new, I had major work done on it 10 years ago, and I wasn't really sure, you know, did they do this, did they do that, and instead of having to dig through and trying to find the receipts, I could, uh, you know, look on the car facts or car care report and look at what was done or not. So uh, the history part of it has been fantastic. And then in addition to having, being able to look at the history, just being able to record everything that I'm doing. I work on, primarily I, I have five cars that I'm responsible for all of the maintenance. You know, my, my two sons' car, my wife's car, and my mother's car, and you know, I do uh, most, you know, even major repairs I'll do my, myself. And instead of having to write out what I had done and the date, the mileage, and stick it in the glove compartment, or if I had taken it to a shop, even keeping those receipts and shoving them in the glove compartment, now it's all in one real nice tight space. And I, I tell you, you know, uh, a glaring five-star endorsement. Uh, it's, and, and, you know, you guys aren't paying me to say this. I really like this app. It's so easy to use, okay? And so that's, uh, you know, a couple of the real highlights. The other thing that I really liked on it was uh, that I use uh, religiously on the two vehicles that I primarily drive is the mileage tracker, the uh, miles per gallon. So every time I go to the pump, I fill up at least the two vehicles that I drive that I'm responsible for. And I put the mileage in, I put the gallons in, the costs in. And, you know, uh, being able to record the gasoline and the miles per gallon is sort of like, I, I sort of take it like, you know, having your blood pressure checked or your temperature checked when you go to the doctor. If all of a sudden you see a change in your miles per gallon, that's a, a early warning that something might be going on. Um, so that's been super, uh, super easy to do. And uh, I, I don't think I've missed a fill up since I realized that was on the app. And actually, I didn't even know that was there for quite a while. And I sort of stumbled across it and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. So I went in and, and, and did that too. So, um, other features that I really like, I've pretty much got all of the notif notifications turned on. And even though there's like 30 different kind of notifications you get, it's not overwhelming. I'm not just getting hammered with all kinds of solicitations and things like that, which I get from other apps. I can't stand that when you turn a really nice feature into something that takes away from the app. So, you know, I get reminders on um, really all the all the important stuff um, like vehicles are now needing to be registered I'm in that time of the year where I have to go back through and, and uh, do the registration so it gives me a, a reminder of that all my mileage uh, or my uh, oils changes and uh, filter changes and things like that I like where you can set it so as I've moved to maybe um, a standard oil to a synthetic oil I'm stretching out my mileage changes and and instead of having that dictated to me I can go in and change when my cycle is so that's that's been real helpful too and getting those reminders even though I'm on top of stuff you know it's almost like okay yeah like right now one of my vehicles has needed to have an oil change for about a month I got it all out there ready to do it just haven't had the time to really get to it yet. But, you know, maybe once a week or something, I'll get a little reminder, pop up, say, hey, you know, it's time for your oil change, tire rotation, uh, stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to think of some of the other features in it. I mean, it's uh, okay. Here, here's another one that I think you guys have done a fantastic job with is even sort of obscure kind of things that you're going to do to your car usually it's in there i have only rarely found something that i had to type in and give a description to um you know i'll order order my parts online or i'll go to a local uh, parts store and even if it's uh something like you know it's it's not going to be in there but i'm going to put a record of what i did 
I'll do a quick search and I just start typing out uh, the description and two or three letters into that description it pops up a short list that I can just check off it records the date I can change the date if I didn't do it today if I waited a couple of days to put it in the app um, so I you know you can tell I like the app and uh, it's one of those that uh, is just uh, the simplicity of it but the depth of it it's not uh, it's not superficial in any way. Let's put it that way. It's just uh, well designed and uh, it's been so uh, useful for me versus having a either a file folder for each vehicle just stuffed with different papers or the glove compartment which you know if anybody really maintains their vehicles they know what I'm talking about. The glove compartment you know gets and then it's not in order and you're rifling through there and you can't find the one paper that you're looking for so um so those are some some of my thoughts you know in my words lucy yeah i mean fred i'm not kidding you literally answered every one of my questions i was going to end with you know imagine a world without the car care app and you just said right there you know you'd be keeping all these loose files in your glove compartment and it wouldn't be so organized yeah so Thank you so much for being so detailed. That was really great. Um, you had answered, you know, your favorite features, what you like about it, all that stuff. So, wow, I'm very impressed. Like, do you do this all the time? Are you a pro? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, okay, so this makes you a little nervous, right? Because yeah. I've sort of, uh, it, it's so well done and I don't give it much thought. Then now I'm if you ever get rid of it or it goes away then I've lost all my records so I don't know I haven't I, one of the things as I was thinking about this one of the things I was going to do is actually go online I do it all on my phone so I'm using the app but I know you can log in uh, on the PC as well and I wanted to see if I could download you know a record of all of my stuff just sort of as a backup like once a year I go in so if any strange thing were to happen, you know, when y'all go away, I haven't lost all of my records. So that's one of the things, if that feature is not in there, pass that one on, okay? Because I think there needs to be some way to keep a, a hard copy of, of all of that too. For sure, yeah, I think that's a great idea. And I can check in to see if we have that feature or if it's in the works and let you know. But that's a great idea. I mean, we're not going anywhere, you know, the car cap will remain, don't worry. But it's always good to have a backup. I mean, even with your phone photos and storage and all of that, it's always right. good to have a backup just right. in case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you for the, like I said, detailed answers. Thanks for the little bit of feedback, you know, on, on things that we could add if they're not there. Um, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day today to chat with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great holiday season as well. Okay, I got one more thing for you, Lucy, right. to pass on. Now, I know you're trying to keep this going. I told right. you you were going to have to wrangle me yeah. in. One of the features that I would like to see, and I've tried to do in this, is if you don't have a VIN number or you're working with a vehicle that's not a car, maybe, there's no way to sort of trick the system into putting either a phantom vehicle out there or something it would be nice to have a manually loaded car and, I, and i'm going to give you an explanation uh, or an example so we have a couple of scooters well scooters do have vin numbers they are registered with the state and everything but i know it's not your market focus so i can understand why it's not part of that and having to do all the programming but I would really like to have the features that you offer in this app for those whenever I do any work. Even if I have to manually type in what I did, the date was, the the mileage, and the mileage tracker, the miles per gallon, the gasoline um, tracker would be really nice for those. So think about offering some kind of manual option to manually add in a vehicle. And you guys, you know, don't don't pull the date in or don't don't worry about what we've put in there but give us that capability to be able to um, do things that are maybe outside of your your target market yeah yeah I love that that's a great idea um, I feel like I've heard discussions of that before too um, but like I said I can follow up and see if those changes are in production and you know 
lucky for you when you do these type of things, you're right at the top of my list, so I'll be sure to follow up with you on those two comments. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's all I had for you if you didn't have anything else to share. Nope, that's perfect, Lucy. I appreciate the fact that you're actually going out there and trying to solicit real feedback. Uh, hopefully it helps. Um, you know, if it was a real dog of an app, I probably would not have accepted because I'm, I tend to be a more positive kind of person. So I don't really want to go in and, you know, uh, offer up a bunch of negatives, but I, I'll tell you what, I really can't think of negatives other than, you know, maybe add a couple of features and, uh, but for what you've done, you know, uh, five star, two thumbs up. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear you enjoy it a lot and that it makes your life easier. That's that's the whole purpose. So. It does. And I will say, okay, here's one more plug. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you know, I, I know this thing's free for me and I, I'm sure, that, you know, there's all kinds of tie-ins to server shops and, and things like that. But by giving me this tool and how useful it's um, been, it really increases my confidence in the the primary at least what i think is probably your primary money making tool is the carfax reports i i'd never buy another car without getting a carfax report and it's be, it it is because you you offer this you know uh, as a service so i'll put that plug in there too the car i was very impressed with the carfax report anyway when i when i did order them but even more so now, you've sort of increased my loyalty to the company. Great. Yeah, okay. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. All of these products, whether it's the car care app or I use car listings or the report, they're all supposed to be tied together and make, you know, life for the consumer easier. Make sure, you know, you're confident in all of your purchases. So, like I said, you nailed it on the head. That's exactly right. That's that's our whole mission here. So, Sounds thank good. you for pointing that out and sharing Okay, Lucy. Hey, you have a great day, and thanks again for, uh, uh, you know, offering a customer a way to give some feedback, too. Yeah, of course. Thanks for accepting and, and joining me today. I really appreciate it. Okay, have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Recording stopped.